Hey guys, it's Ishix and another gold guy today. Um, today we're back in Oldham, going for some whiptail, um, whiptail farming. So as you can see on the top left of the screen there on the map, um, where we're going to be following. So just where it's marked in red, just make a circuit for yourself around the zone. Uh, just stay by the waterways and you'll keep finding whiptail everywhere. Um, for, so for the requirements for this, level 85 plus. This guy's only level 85, I just has, haven't leveled him to 90 since mop came out um, and 500 herbalism uh, minimum to pick up the herb and then um, uh, some kind of flying of some sort i only got 280 but since i don't have to dismount it's it's fine it's about 310 equivalent uh, if you think about it but anyways we're going to be running around the zone for 15 minutes we're going to see how much we can get um, so like i said uh, this is an old school method back from cataclysm uh, I don't know if you guys remember doing this all the time, but you could make ridiculous amounts of gold, and it was just so easy. I mean, everybody did it. The market was so saturated with herbs, but I mean, it was always a good gold maker. Uh, never failed me. And since then, the prices have gone up, like, substantially. So, um, just guys, go ahead and check the auction house, check the prices on the stuff. We're going to be doing the run, uh, see how much we can make. I'm going to be using the market average prices for our profits just to keep it on an even playing field keep it fair so anyways we're going to start the 15 minute run we'll be back and then we'll see how much we can make Alright guys, so we just wrapped up the run here, we did the 15 minutes, uh, went a couple seconds over, but not a big deal. Uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and head over to the auction house and see how much we're going to get for all this. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be using the market value average across all US servers for the price um, to keep it on fair grounds. So keep that in mind, and uh, we'll be back shortly with uh, the profits. Alright, and here's a look at final sales. Everything has been posted to the auction house. Um, for the whip tail, we collected 205, which got us 485 gold, 85 silver. Um, we collected 95 volatile life, which got us 473 gold and 10 silver. For a grand total of 958 gold and 95 silver uh, for the 15 minutes. And you can times that by 4 uh, to get the per hour, and that's 3,835 gold and 80 silver um, per hour. Now keep in mind guys, um, the prices I used for this to calculate are the um, the average across all the US servers. Um, so hypothetically, this should be what most of you guys are gonna get approximately, maybe a few gold up and down, um, but it, sh it should be pretty even. Um, so keep in mind it's server dependent, the pricing. Uh, remember, uh, I had the slow flight speed on this character, it was only the 280. Um, but I did have the Druid um, pickup where you don't have to dismount, so just keep that in mind. And um, obviously the mats won't sell, you know, constantly. I mean, people need it to level their alchemy and other stuff. So if what I just collected now should sell within the hour. If you're going to be doing a couple hours of farming though, just maybe wait for an overnight or something like that. Because it's probably not all going to sell right all at once. Uh, as you're probably going to saturate the market as it's not in exactly the highest demand um, that we've seen. So anyways, that's about it guys. Uh, go ahead and drop a comment, uh, like the video, subscribe. Um, and if you guys want to see some more guides from me, go ahead and hit that like button. And uh, take it easy. Peace.